Uh, my plans fell through for today, and uh, so last minute called an audible and decided to go up to Big Walker Mountain. I, I passed this a million kajillion times on my way to Ohio. There's a tunnel. It's in Virginia, right before you get to West Virginia, there's a tunnel called Big Walker Tunnel. And every time I look on a the map, there always seems to be a couple of trails that cross over the highway. So I imagine as you're going through the tunnel, there's trails on top of the mountain. I uh, always wondered about it. So uh, last night I said, you know what? I'm gonna check it out. It's 144 miles from the house. So I figured that's doable. It's about a, Google Maps says two hour drive with me. It's about a three hour drive. So I'm, I jumped in the Jeep and just truck, drove up. I'm gonna head up there. Stop and get gas right now. Uh, no plans to spend the night. I'm just gonna go up there, look around, come see if it's worth going back and come back. I might, if I do get tired, I might spend the night on the side of the road in the Jeep. I brought my sleeping bag. Didn't really bring any camping gear. And uh, I, I can always get a hotel room if I have to, but it's close enough. I think I can limp it back. If I'm dead dog tired, I can just take a nap, drive, take a nap. I've, I've done that a kajillion times. All right, so let's hit it. So we're just leaving the country store and we're going on Walker Mountain Road right here. I like the look of this a lot better than that mud trail that we're where we're gonna come out. intersection here. Let's see what it's not on Gaia Maps, although I don't think Gaia Maps is updating. Um, I'm going to take it and see where it goes. And it goes to here. Nothing. I imagine I can go that way. Nothing telling me I can't. But I am by myself. And if I get into trouble, I gotta self recover because help is not coming.
takes us to this. Uh, four picnic tables. Looks like a nice place to camp for the night. Got the remnants of a nice fire pit. And look at that view, man. I'm going to drop a pin in this as a campsite. Cause, yeah, I'd, I'd like to camp here. Saturday and there's nobody here. I haven't seen a soul on this road. Imagine the cold people. I got plenty of parking. Frankie could park his yellow monster there. Jerry could park his rooftop tent Jeep there. We could put the bougie gazelle right there. My hammock will go in between those two trees. Or my pup tent. See it because of the sun with another nice campsite on this little road. Yeah. See? Easily fit a dozen people up here. If you're driving by, I need to spend the night. Campsite's right by this tower. And if you need it, they got free propane. It's got a gate, so if you're coming through, there might be a gate open or it might be a gate closed. Maybe it gets rougher up ahead. Overall, so far, the grade has been pretty flat. It's been a steady up and down, but nothing severe. It's just like any city street. I've been on driveways rougher than this so far. I'm digging it. I'm, I'm, these are some awesome views. I'm, I guess we're running on the ridge of a mountain because you can see to that side is valley and to that side is valley. If it wasn't so cold, I'd get out and walk around and look. This is National Forest, so I guess dispersed camping is allowed. So anywhere you could pitch a tent, pitch a camp. ice on these trees it's just amazing if you look out that side on it you see with the sun shining but the sun shining over the mountain on the ice on the branches just it's beautiful holy crap i'll never be able to unsee this stuff saw my first uh, bald eagle in the wild. I've, I've seen them in zoos and stuff and at the raptor center, but the first time I see one in the wild just flying by. Whew. Man, I've, this, this, this has been a nice trip.
fall off the trees. A big chunk just hit the top of the Jeep. Made me crap my pants. It looks pretty though. According to Gaia, I'm right over top of I-77, the tunnel that goes through the mountain. So if I stomp my foot real hard, I'm shaking the dust off the ceiling in the tunnel and onto 18 wheelers. It's a nice little prank I like to play on them. That's the exit we took to get here. I-77. Man, the ice falling off these trees, pretty ominous. The video will come out, but that is just beautiful. All that ice on the road. Uh, I want to know what's down there, but I'm too lazy to walk and that looks like it could get soft very quick. And I do want to know where this goes to, but uh, not today. Trail looks like it gets a little rougher here. Uh, that's going up towards the power lines, uh, usually power lines are right of way, no trespassing. So I'm, I'm going to stay down here, although that looks like a fun hill to climb. That's looking a little rougher, but we're still in two wheel drive and still aired up and sway bars on. Well, that's looking a little skittish. We got winch cable, and, and uh, although I don't see anything to hank on to. It's like a monstrous gate that's inoperable. Clearance is getting a little lower and lower every time. Uh, good thing all I got up there is a rack. guys had that road blocked back there and then there's a couple of guys have the road blocked up here like their early warning system I think they might be cooking meth it was a ragtag group looking group of people although they got some nice trucks I think I figured it out there's private property to the left and National Forest to the right I think those guys are pro hunting on private property that's why they were a little skittish but, you know, I ain't no revenueer. I guess to them I look like a s smooth, slick city folk. Dead 
fall in the road. correct thing would be to get the tree out of the road instead of going around it and widening the trail but <laughs> the only thing I got is a machete <laughs> I'm not I, I have a hatchet but still that's, that's a lot of work for a fat ass like me If you do care about your vehicle, I would uh, turn around at the power lines because the clearance is low. If you have anything on top, it might rip it off or scratch it. Uh, if you care about your paint, this ain't the place. Turn around at the power lines. This trail was meant for ship boxes. I'm at an intersection which that don't look like much of a road to me that looks like a road I don't know I just want off this trail <laughs> That's a kick in the pants. <laughs> it's going to be a long back up. All right, I think I can do it. spent the past half hour backing up. Oh my god, I'm fucking nervous as a wreck. <laughs> that, was, that was about the worst pinch up I've, I've been in in a long time. A guy at Maps is showing this or trail. It looks like somebody back did the same thing I did, but they turned around here instead of I found a spot up there I could just jam it in. When you're not worried about scratching your vehicle, you could do that. Uh, it looks like it could be a trail. I'm not going to chance it. I'm just going to go back the way I came. Whew. One way in, one way out. Not the first time I did that. <laughs> Good news on the way out. I know what to expect. About two miles of this miserable trail. I'm, I'm having a blast, even though it's... It's making my butthole pucker a little bit. I'm, I'm having a good time. And this is beautiful. Beautiful country, man. I, I'm, I'm glad I came. I just wish I had some friends to enjoy it with it, but, you know, next time, guys. I just needed a little nick time. So that gate I was making fun of when I left, yeah, I guess it is operational. I 
I don't know if I was breaking the law coming in or coming out, but either way. Whew. Look at that. Gorgeous. Well, I think the tr trail turns back into a gravel road. I'm glad to see it. I'm... <laughs> that was a blast. Oh, only me. No witnesses, it didn't happen. Almost coming to an end. I can see the road down there. Gotta say, I'm happy to see it. Well, I made it to the end. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> it was a long day. I got here at 10:30. It's now 2:20 to go all the way down. So it's about as far as I can go because there's a tree in the way and then backtrack up. Plus I was filming and taking pictures and stuff. Uh, definitely worth going. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be there or not being that the gate was down when I went in and come back and it was up when I came out. I don't know if uh, those redneck hunters were not supposed to be there and they put the gate down or they're just playing a trick on me and putting the gate up behind them when they left just to I don't know mess with the city folk which I ain't city anyhow if, if you're if you're driving down I-77 or up I-77 get off exit 47 in Virginia and uh, just make the trip even if you know it's it's a, you'll be glad you did